What's going on guys, X Nooptown here, and today I'm going to be doing a Twixter tutorial on After Effects, and hopefully this will get you guys more familiar with After Effects as long as we learn you guys the basics of Twixter, how to sync with Twixter, and how to use Twixter correctly. So I got my files already lowered up here, and the gameplay that I am using is a 60 frame per second gameplay as you can see. You could always check the frame rate by just clicking on your clip, and you could check FPS. Mine's a 60 as you can see, so highlight our song, press LL to drop down the waveform. And I'm just going to zoom in here a bit just to get it to my fittings. So we got our first beat, and this is the beat that we're going to be syncing our shot to. I already have my clip cut out, so I'm just going to click on it to highlight it, and press open bracket to snap it back to my time bar. Then I'm just going to drag it out until I see the beginning of the kill, or the 100 plus. say about right there okay so now I'm just gonna expand this a little bit just to show you guys how to properly use this and now for Twixter the thing is about it when there is a lot of movement or spinning there will be excessive amounts of warping so I do recommend that you do use it when the gun is either pulling up or in a black scope so I like to use it myself when the gun is below the hood and that reason is just because if it is above it there will be some warp. We don't want no warping in our clips. So I'm just gonna press Control Shift D to make a cut. Now we're gonna go one frame forward. You could do that by pressing next frame or just moving your time bar one frame forward. Make another cut, pressing Control Shift D. We're gonna drag this part to the start of our composition. And then we're just gonna move our time bar to the end of that clip. I like this one and press open bracket to snap it back. Expand that out to line up with the other clip. And now you can see it's lined up, so we're just gonna search in Twixter in our effects and presets tab. Now I use Twixter Pro, but you could very well use Twixter for this. But I just recommend using Twixter Pro. Now the first setting in Twixter Pro is input frame rate. You're gonna want to use the frame rate of your clip. Mine's is 60, so I'm gonna be using 60. If you have a 30 frame per second or above, use the exact frame rate. Main BG settings, we're going to want to change that to 60. And FG1 settings, we're going to want to change that to 60 as well. Now we're going to click on the stopwatch on the left side of speed. That'll make a keyframe. We're going to go one frame forward. And then we can change the speed to whatever you prefer. I prefer anywhere between 1 to 3. I'm going to use one for this tutorial. Uh, actually, I'm, I think I'm going to use two just to make it a little faster so you guys can see better. Now, if you do want to see your keyframes, you could always highlight your clip and press U on your keyboard to drop down your keyframes. I'm not going to be using no, so I'm just going to press U to dismiss. And now I'm going to show you guys what I mean by excessive warping when there's a lot of movements. So as you can see here, like the environment is moving along with him. And you'll get a lot of warp in parts like this because as you can see there is a lot of movement and Twixter does try to blend frames so that's about all for the tutorial. I'd like to thank you guys for watching.